The ever-famous Big Bang Theory is now debunked by several images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Big Bang Theory is the consensus cosmological framework for helping us learn about the creation and evolution of the cosmos. According to this theory, our universe began almost 14 billion years ago in an extremely hot, dense state, and it has cooled and expanded ever since. The fundamental forces and particles of nature emerged in the very first fractions of a second, right after the Big Bang. But the new images from James Webb Space Telescope shows us that this story that we believed over the years might not be true, which baffled astronomers and physicists alike. If that caught your attention, keep watching till the end of the video to know more about this new discovery. The Big Bang Theory might sound like an explosion that happened about 14 billion years ago, but it was just a massive expansion that blew the space up like a gigantic balloon. This is a theory all cosmologists and theoretical physicists endorse. This is because the evidence supporting this idea is extremely extensive and convincing because we already know that the universe is still expanding even now at an ever-accelerating rate. Scientists have also discovered a predicted thermal imprint of the Big Bang, the universe pervading cosmic microwave background radiation. And we have also not observed any objects that are older than 13.7 billion years, all of which is the reason why we believe our universe came to existence around that time. So the key observations that support the Big Bang Theory include the expansion of the universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of the lightest chemical elements, and the age of the oldest known stars. What we see is an infinite universe expanding into itself. Fast forwarding to the present day, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is considered to be one of the most remarkable scientific achievements of our time, is making headlines for some of the mesmerizing images from this telescope. Now for those of you who don't know, the James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared observatory that's orbiting the Sun about 1 million miles away from the Earth. The primary goal of this telescope is to find galaxies that are formed in the early universe and also to observe the stars forming planetary systems. You can consider this telescope as a spiritual successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. It is also designed to complement and extend the discoveries of the Hubble Telescope with longer wavelength coverage and much improved sensitivity. This is also by far the largest optical telescope in space, and it is also the most powerful space telescope ever built, valued at 10 billion US dollars. The primary intent of this telescope is to uncover the history of the universe, all the way from the Big Bang to the formation of galaxies and atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets, because we have a big question to answer. Are we alone in this universe? But that is a topic for another video. The telescope primarily consists of about 18 hexagonal mirror segments of gold-plated beryllium which together creates a huge 6.5 meter diameter mirror that gives the James Webb Telescope a light collecting area of about 25 square meters. That in itself is about six times more than the Hubble Space Telescope. But unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which is known for observing the cosmos in the near ultraviolet, visible, and infrared spectra, the James Webb Telescope is taking a different route by observing the low frequency range from long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared. The Space Telescope has released several images ever since it was operational. These images are critical for human expeditions and understanding the cosmos, and it looks like that just happened. Few of these images might give us some hidden clues about the origins of our universe, and this might also disprove the Big Bang Theory. Everyone who happened to see the images from the James Webb Telescope would be mesmerized by what this telescope is capable of. But what surprised so many professional astronomers and cosmologists would be the fact that there is something special about these images. They noticed how many galaxies are surprisingly smooth, small, and old. But the surprises don't end there. It created a lot of panic among cosmologists because what they believed so far about the Big Bang Theory contradicted the presence of too small, too smooth, too old, and so many numbers of galaxies. None of these might be able to explain the Big Bang hypothesis. Let's start with the small part. If the universe expanded, there will exist a very strange optical illusion, 
where galaxies in the expanding space will continue to look smaller and smaller with increasing distance. But beyond a certain point, they need to start looking larger and larger. This is because their light is supposed to have left them when they were closer to us. But that's not what we found in these images, because objects look smaller in proportion to their distance, which would only happen in a non-expanding space. This simply means that the galaxies that the James Webb Telescope showed us are just the same size as the galaxies that are near to us, assuming that the universe is not expanding and the redshift is proportional to the distance. Even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than our own Milky Way that appear in these images are two to three times smaller when compared to similar images that are observed by the Hubble Space Telescope. The new galaxies reportedly have redshifts, which are also two to three times greater. All of this is creating a lot of confusion among the cosmologists, who believe the Big Bang Theory was the only logical explanation for the existence and evolution of the universe. There are galaxies that are far more luminous than the Milky Way, yet it is calculated to be only about 300 light years in radius, which means we are looking at the galaxy that's 150 times smaller than the radius of our Milky Way. Its surface brightness, that is, brightness per unit area, would be about 600 times greater than that of the brightest galaxies in the local universe. Its density would be tens of thousands of times more than that of present-day galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope just made the problem a little worse, because tiny and smooth galaxies mean no expansion. Thus, there is no Big Bang. Astronomers who support the Big Bang Theory also stated that the tiny galaxies collide with each other to become a bigger galaxy. But if that happens, you would witness a lot of chaos in these galaxies, scrambled by several mergers. But the images from the James Webb Space Telescope showed us overwhelmingly smooth disks and spiral forms, just like what we see with today's galaxies. So this idea of galaxies being formed due to collision might not make any sense anymore. There is no way for galaxies to grow 100 times bigger. So the optical illusion predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis does not even exist. Think of it this way. Since nothing could have originated before the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies demonstrates that the Big Bang did not happen in the very first place. Too old and too many galaxies also mean the same thing. The James Webb Telescope is different from the Hubble Space Telescope because it studies the cosmos using infrared rays, and it also uses several different filters to capture images and the infrared part of the spectrum. This means that it can see colors of distant galaxies. This will also allow astronomers to estimate the age of the stars in these galaxies, because young, hot stars are usually blue in color, and the older, cooler stars, just like our sun, are yellow or red in color. Ultimately, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed not to see the beginning of the universe, but it is here to look into a period of the universe's history that we have never witnessed before. We might also learn more about the very first objects that were formed as the universe cooled down right after the Big Bang. Maybe the Big Bang Theory might have been the most beautiful lie we made ourselves believe when it comes to the creation and evolution of the universe that we know today. If you really want to know about the fundamental building blocks like atoms and how our planets were capable of supporting life, you need to look back into the past because that might give us clues that will take us to planets that support life and will also let us know how we ended up right here in our solar system in the Milky Way galaxy, that too in a very habitable zone which is favorable for life to exist. But if the Big Bang did not happen, how did our universe come to existence? Well, that's a big question that we need to find answers for, along with finding life on planets other than our own.